Happy Sunday, oil traders. Like I said, it's Sunday, it's July 23rd. Um, it's about 4.47, so we're still just over an hour away from uh, Asian markets opening. And I thought we'd take a look at this past week, uh, July 17th through the 21st. Um, this is the chart that we have here. Uh, basically, the left of your screen is that Monday and the right of the screen is closing on Friday. So as you can see, we played within a $2 Roughly a two-dollar range. Um, we saw the uh, we saw the highs following the uh, following news just before news, and then basically as a result of that news on Wednesday, uh, we started to drop. Um, we paused as everybody kind of took a moment to decide whether or not we still wanted to go down, and then ultimately we tanked. You know, for in comparison to the past. Uh, Previous weeks, it was pretty significant. We dropped from a high of 47.20 all the way down to below 46 and the mid 45s. Um, I managed to take a profit twice um, in the course of the week by selling shorts, as you guys know. Uh, I got in just before the news and then sold just after the news. And then as we rallied back up, I repurchased the short and then sold again. Um, so basically it was up here, that I uh, purchased a short, sold it when we first dropped. As we climbed back up, I repurchased a short and then sold it as we started to fall again. Um, I sold actually pretty close to the lows. Uh, unfortunately, it was they were small positions, and because of the way in which oil was moving, I didn't really, you know, get to. I didn't feel confident enough to hold onto my entire short position and sell it all at once after the big drop. Um, I've basically learned the lesson that when a prop, when a profit is being offered to you on the table, you take it. Anytime that I've kind of let it sit there and in hopes of that momentum driving my profits uh, larger the following day, those profits tend to evaporate. <laughs> so I play it safe and I take the profits off the table and if I'm and whatever happens next, I basically play accordingly. So if it continues dropping, I buy long. If it goes back up, I repurchase the short and vice versa. Um, you can learn more about my uh, uh, my portfolio and my trades over on tradingjournal.ca. Um, here are my results, for example. So uh, you can see here the July 20th um, trade and then the July 21st trade. Uh, they were rather short-term holds. Um, and uh, short, short, uh, small percentage weightings on my portfolio. Uh, the er the one from earlier in the week was uh, 22 and a half, and then the uh, late week fr Friday's uh, trade was actually just uh, sh shy of 13 percent of the portfolio. Um, but together, it was about 850 dollars. So I'm going to take that any day of the week and twice on Sunday. <laughs> um, but getting back to to the uh, chart, the volatility, you know, end of the week really, you know, it's easy to look at that and say, ooh, you know, the bears um, are winning and the bulls have given up. And I've certainly alluded to as much with my uh, notes uh, as we wrapped up last week. That being said, I'm not yet fully convinced that the bulls have given up. So you definitely want to be careful if you're trying to get in on this uh, bear momentum and ride this puppy down. If we zoom out, for example, to a one month, um, you can see that we actually did make it up higher than we were um, early July. So you could argue, for example, that you know this chart suggests that we're actually breaking through um, short term. Um, highs and making new short-term highs and we could reverse at this level as you can see this is a significant resistance level from uh, a few weeks back we could basically bounce um, from the mid to low 45s and then retrace back up to at least 47 I see that as very realistic um, if we if we do continue to drop um, on Monday I will be buying long um, I had already intended to buy long on Friday, except with my trading having happened right at the closing, it really just felt too rushed and I didn't want to push it. So if, if we see anywhere close to 45, I'm definitely buying long um, because 
you know, whether or not we actually retrace uh, this coming week, you know, to 46 or 47, um, I do believe that we will see above 45, you know, in the next quarter, let's say. Um, so it's not a risk in my opinion. Um, $45, $45 oil is still cheap oil. Um, that, yeah, so like I said, I think it's anyone's game. Uh, so whichever, you know, strategy you want to play, whatever your opinion, don't bet too heavily in any particular direction. Um, I do ultimately expect oil to go down, but hey, you just heard me say that I plan on buying long. So I am net bear right now. I have more money in my bear positions than I do in my long positions. Um, so it makes sense for me to add to my long positions for a longer term hold, longer term uh, time horizon. So even if I'm wrong next week and we just continue following, that long position, um, I'm prepared to hold that for you know however many months is needed for me to be able to take that um, out with a profit. Um, that's kind of my mentality. So when you play this, um, be sure to have your expectations clear in your mind as to you know what your time frame is. If you're buying um, short with the expectation of it falling the very same day or the very same week, and it goes back up, you're really going to be you know hitting your head against the wall and being disappointed. But the reality is that it's not necessarily a bad thing if you know a week after that we fall back to 42. So um, you have to be patient. Uh, sometimes it literally takes me uh, months and quarters in order to take a profit on a position. But when you take you know five, 10 percent on uh, profit on a position compared to what the banks are paying you or our mutual funds are paying these days, you know, it's a really healthy return. Um, so you can see, for example, if we flip over on my tradingjournal.ca account uh, to my portfolio, here you can get a sense of my positioning. As you can see, I've got two um, shorts here and two longs. These are the HOD and HOU um, ETFs, um, and you can learn more about those on um, horizonetfs.com. Um, so there's the HOU, that's the bullish one, and HOD, D for down, so that's the bearish one. Um, and you can find the details on my portfolio there, as well as my performance um, long term. Uh, that'll show you how it's gone since inception, you know, the previous month, month, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so you guys can play with that if you'd like. Um, so that's my feeling. Um, I'm overall I'm bearish, um, but I'm it's now we're low enough. Like I said, I'm 45 and a half, approaching 45. We're low enough that I'm interested in adding to my long positions at this point. So that's my game plan heading into next week. I'd love to hear what you guys have in mind and how the past week went for you. You can hit me up down below on YouTube in the comments, or like I said, on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio trades and charts. Uh, in the meantime, uh, subscribe to stay tuned. Uh, give us a thumbs up and good luck on Monday. I'll touch base with you guys before markets opened at 9.30 a.m. and again before closing at 4 p.m. Eastern. Until then, enjoy your Sunday. Cheers.